at that time, some of the uh, adults in our, in our prayer group had teenage children. And uh, this was like after confirmation. After confirmation, and they were, um, didn't want to go to CCD, uh, religious education, whatever they called it at that time. Um, so they asked us if we could help them out in some way. And what we did is we went to the pastor and asked him if we formed a home group, would he allow those people to come to our home group and count it as CCD, or religious education? And to our surprise and, and to our joy, he said yes. So we opened our home to these kids, and they were from either from freshmen to seniors, all mixed together. We, we started off with about 12 teenagers, my wife and I and another couple. And we did that for about four years until we finished up with the, the, the freshmen. And um, it was quite, quite a good time. And what was rewarding about it was that when they went off to college, they started a prayer group or a Bible study or something that they learned from, from the time that they spent with us, that they would continue to evangelize which was very rewarding. When they came home for summer breaks, they always wanted us to have a meeting. You know, let's have a meeting at the house. We all want to get together and share what we've been doing, which was, which was great. At one time, they, they were talking to their friends. We had over 25 kids in our house. And uh, we didn't have a very big house, but they were just all over the house. And uh, we prayed with them. We sang songs. We, we had scripture reading. We did sharing. And uh, at one point, we had a young adult group come in and give them the Life in the Spirit Seminar so that they were able to release the spirit within them.